Uh, we're here after the Suns win. Uh, awesome win. It's always good to get a win at home. And uh, we call this segment Roaming Roger. So we'll get straight into it. We've got Zach Tui here. Uh, we're a bit disappointed he didn't kick a barrel today. Why didn't you, mate? You're not the only one by the sounds of it. <laughs> I started getting booed for not doing it. Uh, yeah, I should have. I'm not sure I should kick another one because I'll belly the next one and then I'll probably just get booed indefinitely. Mate, you've got to give the fans uh, what they want. I had a bit of a theory why you weren't doing it. You were kicking it a bit closer so you could get them back. That's just smart though, isn't it? <laughs> How easy is the play on rule as well now? Did you kick goal today? Yeah, yeah, of course I did, Robbie. Uh, when I want to kick goals, I kick goals. <laughs> Just sneak, sneaking about 55 out, little handball receive. I've made a career out of it. Hendo dished me off plenty early in my career, and I've got a good few friends here who do the same. I'm a bit disappointed because that was my role at Hawthorne, but I can't get on the end of any of you. you got to wrap left. I'll wrap right, you wrap left. <laughs> yeah, but no one wants to give them to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's because of your personality, not because of, of your footy skills. Mate, what, what happened? You took about six marks at the top of the 50, and did you convert one of them? No, nah, I didn't, unfortunately. I think the, the first one, the confidence went down a bit. No, nah, I was getting it, um, you know, wanted to go for goal, but a few boys in better spots. Yeah, oh, you're such a selfless player, mate. It's just so good to see. And you got a fair bit of it in the guts? Oh, I was trying my best, mate. But no, all the boys are good. Um, I think a few boys racked it up, which is good. Got a bit of it. Bloody midfielders inside mids, just racking them up at the end. I was sitting on the bench, mate, saving my old legs. <laughs> You'll get there one day. Oh, mate, I'm a long way off from <laughs> Oh, I'm just putting it down there. It's probably the first time in AFL history that someone's come on for their brother. No, it wasn't actually him. It was Mitch. Um, but yeah. When I saw him coming off, I was just hoping he was alright, but I had a job to do, come on and just try and fit in and play well for the boys. Yeah, no, you did a good job, mate. Mate, we've been waiting 20 minutes for you yeah. out there. Like, what are you doing? Oh, well, you know, I'm new to the area, so I'm just trying to get a few fans on board, you know, yeah. try to be nice out there. So they're quite nice to me, yeah. I've, I've, I've realised, I've come to realise in the first two times I've played down here, so I, I've got to give a bit back, mate. Where were you? None, were you? none of them talked to me, no mate. No one's eaten my meat pies, have they? <laughs> no, they might have. For all, for all of you out there, Jezza eats meat pies after the game. It's his one one thing. They had to put it in the contract when he came down. Yeah, two meat pies after every game. First four games, I had no sauce. Flat about that, but last week they uh, they improved that. He Got brought his nice. own tub of barbecue sauce about that big. How many snacks today? Uh, three, three today. Great. But but a good, nice, nice spread out there. Um, it was hard at times, and I could sense the crowd was a bit on edge because we were sort of switching the ball a bit and not, not getting it up forward, but... As forwards, you would like it in there a lot more, but um, nah, we, we played all right, so. There's nothing better than interviewing a key forward, just get it in. That's it for the roaming segment this week. Great win against the Suns, looking forward to taking on the Pies next week. Before I finish, I'd like to thank all the members out there. Uh, we've broken our all-time record and we're up to about 67,000, so thank you very much.